Hey everyone, Rick Albert here. Today I'm going to talk about what has affected real estate values without people even thinking about it. Let's get started. Okay, so a while back, I wrote an article saying what is going to affect future real estate values. And we're already seeing that effect. So instead of me saying my predictions, because we already know they've happened, here's what they are. First, GPS, right? The Waze app, Google Maps, things like that. A lot of these streets that used to be super quiet are now becoming shortcuts and they're becoming busy streets, things people didn't think about before. So I have clients who love cul-de-sacs, especially in Los Angeles, because if you take a look, there actually aren't that many. It's mostly kind of like a grid, right? So people just kind of zoom in and out, and that can affect home values, right? I have to take a look with my kids. Can they run on the street? No. Can they run the street there? Yes, and I might pay a premium for it. Or I don't want to be stuck on a street where there's tons of traffic. Right, so those are things that play uh, a factor. The second is pocket listings, homes listed off market. Now, technically you're not allowed to do that as of May of last year, it's become illegal. It doesn't mean people aren't doing it. So because of that, it does keep the uh, inventory artificially low, right? In terms of options for buyers, which can keep prices up, right? And especially because the rule does state that you're allowed to have an off-market listing as long as you promote it within your office. So if some of these bigger offices have that ability to do that, right? Hey, I have 30 some agents just in my office, but we have a couple hundred across the state, whatever it might be. So that can play a factor as well. And the third and final are vacation rentals. That has been playing a huge factor because some, especially on the rental side, right? Because for some, they might be better off keeping it as an Airbnb, a VRBO, whatever, rather than traditional rental. Now in LA, they have put restrictions on it, no more than 120 days out of the year, but you can ask for an exception, you have to live there half the year, whatever. Point being is, they, those investors, we'll call them investors, because that's what they are, they might relocate their properties elsewhere, right? So sell that home and go buy somewhere else where they can do that, where they're not restricted to those rules, or even so, they might find loopholes, whatever they might be, but that's going to play a factor because again, some people are gonna spend more money on a property because they're gonna factor in that income. In the beginning of COVID, that was a huge detriment to Airbnb because all these homeowners pay these huge premiums on their homes because they were projecting the rental income they were gonna get from Airbnb and they weren't getting them because everything was shut down. And they had to pay their mortgage and they had to do this, but the rent relief acts and all the support weren't geared towards vacation rentals. And because it's all considered self-employed, it wasn't like they were paying into unemployment. So a lot of them were hurting because of that. Now, how does that affect your value? Once again, it keeps inventory low um, in terms of a rental market, um, or it actually might increase your value because some of your neighbors have been throwing parties 24 seven because it's been Airbnb is no longer gonna be able to do that. So it really just depends. Uh, I'd love to get your thoughts. What are some things that we haven't touched on or things that people don't think about that could affect your uh, resale value when you buy a home or when you sell a home? Love to get your thoughts. Comment below, share with your friends. Thank you guys all so much. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll talk to you next week. Thank you.